What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing another par three course today until I make a hole in one. Today we are at, this course had a bunch of different names. Um, Grand National slash Magnolia Grove um, at RTJ Trail. This is in um, Opeka, I think it is maybe, or Mobile, Alabama. Um, I just, I looked quickly, this is a, uh, all par three course, of course. Um, there was a bunch of different options, so I wanted to make sure this was it. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, um, if you watch the other video, um, I played Augusta National for the first one. And basically, I have a list of 25, um, top of the top 25 par three courses in the world. Um, maybe the country, I'm not sure. Um, either way, it's a list of top 25 par three courses that I'm gonna go through until I eventually get a hole in one. Hopefully that happens sooner than later. I don't have to go through all the 25, but um, if you guys watch that one, one different little change that I made on this one is if you look quickly on the screen, you can see that there's a uh, basically a dotted line around the green. This might show it a little better. So basically on this one, I turned off the chip shots. So usually on all the other courses that you see me play, obviously I do the chip shots around the green. This one, if I hit within that area, it's just going to basically give me a couple strokes and move on. So I'm not worried about, obviously the uh, chip shots in the short game here and score wise as much as just the uh, move as long as quickly as I can to the next tee box to try to get that hole in one so we're gonna get started here we've got 190 as always real quick got my dirty stance mat at this point that I'm trying out um, these artificial turf tiles Garmin Approach R10 Country Club Elite mat Callaway super fast balls with that uh, sticky almost matte finish seems to help with the, uh, the spin numbers 10 by seven nets and home tee hero. So first hole, this one, this course seems like it's gonna have a little more variety of these par three holes. This is a little bit longer. So we've got 190 down 13. So I'm gonna go seven iron. I guess if I had to choose, it would be a little more of an accomplishment if I had a hole in one on a longer par three versus like a sub 100 yard par three, but I'll take it any way I can get it. Don't have one in real life, don't have one here. So that's what the point of this series is. If you, I still don't have a name that I can think of yet, a clever, clever, stupid name for this series, but if you can think of one, something to do with uh, par threes and ace cam, hole in one, um, let me know. Maybe I'll change the name. But let's see, first shot here, seven iron. That's gonna be left. Have the distance, pull the left. So as you guys saw on that one, usually I would have to use a little like 60 degree chip shot onto that green, but with this, uh, the larger expanded circle here, see this one's pretty big. This almost goes halfway up the fairway. Um, just should move us along a little bit quicker. All right, 199 down nine. So we're looking at 190. We're gonna go six iron. I actually do prefer the at uh, the Augusta. That Augusta course, the first one that I played, was pretty much all pitching wedge, nine iron, and 52. I do prefer if I had a choice, like I mentioned, to uh, be able to use some different style clubs and get more of a fuller swing. But the list is the list. If you guys have any recommendations of par threes in your area, I can play those instead of this list. Ah, left again. And it was a little heavy. Bugs are crazy out here today. Third hole, 179. All right, down two, so we got 177. I think I'm gonna go seven iron again. That's right between a seven and an eight. I'm gonna go smoother swing on a seven versus trying to muscle up an eight. I think, although I don't wanna rush through all these shots, I think the name of the game with this series trying to get a hole in one is just it's a numbers game so the more tee shots I can hit into these par threes probably the better 
That was a little bit straighter. Still left though. I'm not sure, when I looked up this one before, it had the scorecard of 18, so I'm not sure if some of these are uh, a full 18 hole par three or if they're nine. Either way, if it stops us at nine, we'll just stop it there, but if it lets us keep going, we'll just go around again. Um, or keep playing if there's a full course of different par threes, which I guess is pretty cool if that's the case. 175, down once, we're at 174, I'm gonna go eight iron. I kind of mentioned it a few times in the last video. I really hope this doesn't turn into a uh, like a three a three year project of trying to get a hole in one on this stupid thing. Hopefully, it happens sooner than later. <sighs> Left again. I'll learn my lesson eventually. Grab some Gatorade real quick. Now I do want to make it clear, I'm not going to come out here every single time, every single video that you see is just going to be a part three course. I'm just going to kind of mix these in here and there. Um, usually I'll come out and I'll play a couple courses in the same day. So usually towards the end of the day when I get a little bit tired and the swing speed starts going down, the back gets sore, I'll probably play some of these par threes. But um, like always, if you have any recommendations for regular courses you'd like to see me play, let me know in the comments. Or even better, if you have any ideas for any of these uh, more challenge type videos or series, um, I'm definitely open to hearing your suggestions and uh, most likely if it's a good one, incorporating it and trying it out. So 194 down three, I'm gonna go six iron again. That one's gonna be right, overcompensated. Caught that a little heavy too, which is why it came up short. Sixth hole, 172. 171, I'm gonna go eight iron. Honestly, I was not expecting these long holes. Not exactly what I had envisioned. I was thinking it was gonna be most of the courses and holes are going to be like 150 yards and in kind of chip shots, but ah, that's going to be straight, but I caught it heavy. That's not going to get there. All right, a little bit shorter, here we go. 155, down three, so we're at 152. We're gonna go nice, smooth nine iron. I would think you would have slightly better chances of getting hole in one on shorter holes, but I know the odds, despite hitting, even if you played the same hole over and over again, the odds still, you would think that you would be able to decrease the odds if you're hitting the same shot on the same hole over and over again from the same exact yard or the same exact pin place, but to my knowledge, the uh, odds remain the same of one in 10,000 or whatever the number is, despite how many shots you hit. So you could hit 10,000 shots, but every single time you walk up and hit the ball, there's still only one in 10,000 odds of getting it in. That's in real life. Obviously, I think it's a little bit easier here on the R10, 
and in the simulator. That was struck decent, but I kind of popped it up. Ooh, nope. Got a little closer that time, though. An island green, I'm thinking, with this water. Island green would be a cool one to get a uh, hole in one on. All right, 216, down seven. We're looking at 209-ish. I'm gonna go four iron. Might be beneficial, I'm thinking, depending on, I probably won't do it this round. We'll see, I'll give it a couple rounds. I might have to start teeing it up. I might get a little better contact if I tee these up slightly. Ah, super heavy. All right, let's get some more like 52 type shots, not four iron. Ninth hole, possibly the last one. We'll have to see what happens. Man, what is this? 235, down 13. I'm gonna go five hybrid. That'd be pretty crazy. Get a hole in one with a hybrid. I barely made it to the net. It was straight, but. That's gonna have to get a crazy bounce to get anywhere close. All right, I guess it's having us play the play the back. One sixty-one down three. I'm gonna go nine iron. I don't remember off the top of my head what the first hole was. This possibly is just the first hole again for the back. I'm not sure. That was hit a little bit better. Or not. Plus four, geez. I'm gonna try a seven iron. Push that right. I wish there was a way to like mess with the settings, just do like an auto advance, but all right, so these are. To my knowledge, definitely different holes. I don't remember hitting down 21 yards into a green, so this is kind of crazy. We got 206 down 21. So we're looking at 185, I think that is. I'm gonna go six iron. I mentioned this in an actual like simulator vlog, hitting drivers, like hitting a full club and trying to score well. Um, on course, sometimes depending on the wind, the lie, how the green is, whatnot, um, 
I have my GPS on course and it gives me the yardages to the front, middle, and back. And sometimes, depending on how I'm swinging, if I'm getting tired towards the end of the round or whatever it is, um, sometimes I play and grab the yardage to the back of the green. So for all these shots that you're seeing, these are exactly to the pin. So I'm thinking there's potential that if I start adding maybe another five, maybe like half a club, five yards or so, and play it more towards the back of the green, if I hit it a little fat, thin, don't get all of it, would put me a little bit closer and just play instead of playing towards the middle to the pin every single time give myself a little bit more margin of error and uh, start playing towards like the back of the green type yardages I was hit pretty good Not quite. All right, one sixty five up two. I'm going to go eight iron. That's not going to do it. I'm also thinking, I would assume it would probably be preferable to hit the same exact club, like just the same exact hole over and over again to the same yardage in a pin placement. You would think that would be more beneficial, but maybe just the variety of different clubs and kind of not thinking about it a whole lot, just taking different shots, different swings. It might actually be a little bit better, add the variety, a little more randomness to it, I don't know. This one I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go soft nine instead of a stronger pitching wedge. A little long, a little long. Hoping this doesn't have any detrimental impacts to my game. Just kind of walking up and mindlessly hitting, but. And obviously I'll take it if I do get a hole in one for like a regular simulator round, but if I'm gonna do this series, preferably it would happen during one of these courses, not just during the course of a uh, regular one. 178 down two. I'm gonna try, I've been pulling, that one was a little long, but I've been leaving stuff short. I'm gonna grab the extra club. I'm gonna go six iron instead of seven. Pushed it right. That's closer than we have been lately, so maybe I'll start grabbing just the extra club and swinging a tad slower. Might be a better option. At least for these next few holes. So 170, that would be eight iron. I'm gonna go seven. right again making better contact though with the extra club swinging slower i 
don't know what's going on with these bugs. There's bugs all over the place. There must be like, for whatever reason, this time of year, there's like all these kind of like, they look like flying ants almost that are hatching. They're crawling all over my bag and my phone. Hopefully they're not on the camera or anything. 150. Popped it up. All right, last chance. Eighteenth hole, one sixty two. Up five. I'm gonna go eight iron. Right again. Start off hitting everything left, now hitting everything right. And short. Well, granted, I was just hitting shots real quick, so the score doesn't really matter. We were plus 11.65, but um, that doesn't really matter as much. Unfortunately, second course down, no hole in one. Um, I'm gonna keep going, keep trying until I get one. Um, let me know if you have any recommendations for par threes that you'd like to see me play. Maybe I'll uh, get lucky and have the hole in one on your course, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next course.